Hello there, welcome to Jensen Models, my name is Boy Warden and welcome to this tutorial. We're going to be doing some easy canopy masking, just showing you the different ways we can go about doing it, um, as well as the aftermarket parts that you can also buy to do canopy masking. So let's just jump straight in with our first piece, which is a bit of a canopy of a Hellcat. Now these are more sort of square style um, shall we say pieces of glass right so these ones uh, to make your own right um, good old Tamiya masking tape great one for this right I'm going to be using their 10 mil just here now what you want to do right is because they're all square right let's just pick at least right one straight edge right so we ain't got to cut one straight edge right we can have that sort of already done for us um, maybe I do kind of like to come in with say something like a cocktail stick right because it is good if you can just go around these edges right because there's there's a little bit of a ledge shall we say a little bit of a lip right um, if you sort of go around and if we just sort of like press that in it kind of gives us a bit of a guide right now you might want to sort of put this up to the light right so as you can sort of um, look through and you can sort of see through and it kind of helps you and guide you right but um, for camera purposes I'm just going to get out my mobile phone and you might prefer to work on the actual bench but if I just get out my mobile phone right you turn on your light right hopefully as you can see we've got that nice bright light and actually if you kind of position it just right actually you know the the light can actually kind of really shine through quite nicely for you to have that as a guide bit hard to see on camera so i'm going to try and work without the lights right so make it a little bit more tricky now this isn't a fresh blade so we want to put on a fresh blade when it comes to cutting canopies right slipping uh, and going onto the canopy going to leave a nasty scratch and it's just going to be a nightmare to remove it so having a nice sharp sharp new blade right is just going to help you just kind of literally just touch that surface right you can just touch that surface and probably um you know just just cut straight through it so easily so lightly uh, without having to apply that extra pressure just using some pliers here just makes it easier and safer to apply a brand spanking new blade All right and as i say i'm doing this without light so it's a, a little bit tricky um, but with that little bit of a guide we've made with the um, cocktail stick it's just a case of finding that corner and just very very lightly run your back blade along those lines as I say it's easy when you've got the light right but you'll notice that by having a really nice fresh new blade it does just make it so easy to cut through this and then you can just peel this off right and hopefully as you can see we are all good Let's put that down a little bit just there and that gets you simple nice easy sort of squares done um, now when it comes to um shall we say um, a piece like this this is a little bit sort of more curved right you can use the same technique if you um so wish but what you can do is kind of um, go with the curvature. Actually, this is the 10 mil. Now, we want to go as thin as we can sort of get it. This is Tamiya's 6 mil. Right, I'm just going to pour and put, pull a nice line off of that. Right, and what I'm going to do is, again, you know, save yourself the cutting. Right, we're going to find our first sort of straight line. Right, and what we're going to do is we pinch one end right so we get a nice straight line pinch a to b and that should get you a, a pretty nice straight edge going on there and then i'm going to sort of pinch this end here i mean you could if you wanted to sort of help yourself along uh i do like tamia's declan scissors here we could sort of like maybe cut this on the actual sort of corner area here and that little cut there will just help with eliminating the creases if we use our nail to pinch right into that corner 
right and then we just overlap it like that and there we go and then we can just follow that all the way around so to fill in this big sort of whole area here you could come in with more tammy masking tape and tape that on but mascal um, or any kind of liquid mask from any company they all seem to be just as good use any of them and we can just simply paint this on um, you do want to sort of get it nice and thick so to do that you know you, you're probably talking a couple of coats so we're just going to like paint this on we're going to overlap onto uh, our masking tape as well right and you're going to want to let that dry and you know put on a couple of coats right get it real nice and thick so it kind of protects it and you know it just kind of makes it easier to peel it off as well when it is rather rather thick so we want to leave that as i say you could just tape over it with masking tape if you wanted to right um now we're just going to kind of finalize this this is probably oh by the way if you ever want to sort of keep your paint brushes nice after using this mask out right water cleans this stuff up nicely right don't use any kind of thinners because it will almost instant instantly um set another kind of masking we have here is actual canopy mask so i know this is a bit of an easy one um but all you've got to do is just identify what um piece you need right a bit hard to see on camera but i can just see it's this one just here you can just flip it up with a blade like so all right and then you could probably get out some some tweezers all right just to pull that rest up right and it is just an easy case of just laying it perfectly down to the shape Eddard masking right I mean they are pretty good for their accuracy all right I just kind of like to just sort of rest it down not kind of press it down until I am happy with the shape so you might kind of play with it a little bit up and down a bit but then when you are happy right we can just press that down like so just kind of makes the job a little bit um, easier and so there you go canopy masking um, it is a bit of an experience game I mean I've shown you how to do it but really it's kind of just like practice practice you'll get used to it um, and you know you do get there in the end and you'll find it's actually quite easy right i mean you know if you don't maybe you've not got a steady hand you know sticking with maybe the aftermarket um canopy masks that are already cut out for you is probably your best bet other than that hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial so as always until next time my name is bobby waldron this is genesis models and i'll catch you later